Vehicular activities were disrupted as workers under the employ of the Oyo State Government took to the streets of Ibadan to protest their displeasure over what they termed government's perceived insensitivity to their welfare. Led by labor leaders, the aggrieved Nigerians promised to totally paralyze economic activities within 24 hours if their demands were not urgently looked into. Here's that report. It is a total shutdown of government activities as workers in the Oyo State Civil and Public Service laid siege at the entrance of the state seat of power, barring visitors from gaining access to the facility. Appreciate the harmonious relationship we'll be having with the government, and we wouldn't want that to be jeopardized. We observe that a lot of misgivings, misrepresentatives has been happening, uh, and it's created a lot of distortions between us and the government. So the labor leaders met and we decided we want to have a roundtable talk with Mr. Governor. Many of our agitations have been uh, misquoted to him. Pensioners in your state, they are really suffering. I can tell you authoritatively that there are some pensioners that are still collecting 300 naira per month. Please, I would like to repeat that. 300 naira per month for some pensioners. From where we are standing here in Secretariat to bus stop, 350 naira will not take you, whether it's on Okada or Keke, to and fro. The aggrieved workers kicked against the inability of government to properly review salaries and pensions, no remittance of deductions, amongst all the contentious issues they said have made life unbearable for them. What we want is government should come out, most especially Oyo State. It's very unfortunate that uh, Oyo State is a space sector state. Yes, we are still lacking behind. The government should be sensitive to our plight. In the sense that, how are these workers coming to work every day? Most of them trek kilometers before they get to their place of work. There's no pensioner in Oyo State that does not have areas of pension and nothing to collect. As I speak with you, we have unpaid gravity from the year 2014 to date. The workers further took their message to the streets, disrupting vehicle movement and grounding business activities. Armed with placards bearing various inscriptions, they called out the government at all levels to put the interests of the ordinary Nigerian at heart. So we are out telling the Oyo State government that for as long as you deduct salaries of Oyo State workers, without remitting to the various cooperative societies, without remitting check of deals to the various trade unions, you are a rogue government. Meanwhile, special advisor to the Oyo State Governor on Labor Affairs, Adebayo Titilola Sodo, has assured workers of the government's commitment to their welfare. The former Labor leader was reacting to the protest embarked by the workers in the civil and public service. Sodo will advise the state's employees to be wary of what it termed unscrupulous elements bent on truncating the peace within its workforce, promised that the government would continue to discharge its cautionary duties to her workers. Of course, there was a time we were owing them uh, deduction areas. We had six, and four has been paid since last week. So I wonder why anybody will now go on the streets for something that you have already received. And when we are talking of a review of uh, pensions, this government met several areas of entitlements on ground, which we have cleared. They, some people are claiming that someone reviewed pensions for them sometime. That person never paid. It's this government who came in and started paying the reviews they got then. And the, the government is not ready to do a, a review that it should not be able to meet. These concerned Nigerians have also raised questions about the sincerity of government in its handling of the removal of subsidy on petroleum products, which has further impoverished more Nigerians. They say they will not fold their arms and watch the lives of Nigerians' best brains stuffed out due to government's alleged insensitivity and negligence.